isa na namang magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Lumipas na ang bagyong si Carding. Sunny day na naman today. Mabuti naman. Our topic for today is ano nga ba ang epekto ng rainy season sa solar panel? Makakatipid pa rin ba tayo sa kuryente? Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to discuss the effect of rainy season with the solar panel performance. Ang performance ng solar panel ay nababase sa sikat ng araw. But it doesn't necessarily mean na pagka umuulan ay totally wala na tayong naka-harvest na energy. Let us ask my asawa's opinion regarding this. Good morning, honey. Good morning. What opinion? Yeah, so the question is, does rainy season affect the performance of solar panel? Uh, yes, it does. I'm measuring every day the production. And of course, if it's cloudy, the solar panels are producing less energy. Um, interesting thing is with the new solar panels, even if it's really cloudy and even with slight rain, they're still producing. So it's going down, yes, but it's not completely zero. So are you trying to tell me that it is based on the kind of solar panel that you use? I mean, the technology obviously uh, improved. When we get our first solar panels eight years ago, whenever it is cloudy or rainy, they stopped completely. It was zero. There was nothing coming out anymore on a cloudy day. Uh, with these new panels that we just got last year, they even produce with uh, cloudy sky. So like now, it's overcast. You don't see the sun. They are still producing. As long as there is light around. Yeah, correct. As long as there is light. There's just some kind of light from the sun coming through the clouds. Wag manimdim kung umuulan. Kasi kahit papano, nagha-harvest pa rin ng energy ang ating mga solar panels. Nagpakabit din kami 8 years ago ng solar panel. Pagka umuulan, totally zero. During those days, gumawa ng app yung asawa ko na nagme-measure siya kung gaano ba ang nakukonsumo kuryente sa loob ng bahay, gaano ba uh, ang energy na naka-harvest from the sun, at gaano ba ang energy na ginagamit natin from Meralco. Panahon ngayon, mas nag-improve na raw yung ating technology, kaya ang mga solar panel, kahit umuulan, hindi ibig sabihin na zero na siya. We are not using battery. Kunwari, our electrical consumption at that time eh, mas konte or lesser than what the solar panel is harvesting. When you are on net metering with Meralco, then this excess energy goes directly to Meralco. Tapos, si Meralco, bibilhin niya sa'yo yan ng half the price. Let's say, for example, per kilowatt, ang bili natin kay Meralco o ang charge ni Meralco sa atin ay 10 pesos per kilowatt. Yung ating excess energy that is being thrown to them coming from our solar panel, they will buy it from us at half the price, meaning around 5 or 6 pesos, mga ganon. Hindi siya fully 1 is to 1. Okay? Now, the question is, paano sa gabi? Diyan na ngayon, mag-offset o magma-minus yung excess energy sa gagamitin mong energy sa gabi. Teka lang, intermission muna. Dumating na in-order kong... <laughs> Mang inasal! Umorder ako, not through Grab, pero through Food Panda. Ay, bakit ka mo Food Panda? Kasi nag offer sila ng free delivery. Yun, tapos may promo rin si, ano, si Mang Inasal. O, oh, at dahil dadalawa lang naman kami, eto, dalawang paa na may kasamang four sticks ng barbecue. 
Promo nila yan eh. Huwag mo na akong tanungin kung magkano, hindi ko na matandaan. Basta, may kasama pa siyang empanada ng dalawa. Well, separate order kong empanada. Dalawang empanada, tapos meron ako dito isang dolce de leche ng halo-halo na leche-leche na. Hindi ko matandaan yung pangalan eh. At dahil mga seniors na kami, hindi naman advisable na solohi namin, tigi-isa kami ng crema de leche. Masyado ng high in sugar content yan. Share na lang kami dito mamaya. Ayan. Ayun, wala. Share ko lang. Lagay ko muna ito sa freezer. A few moments later. Tapos na lunch. Yung mang inasal, barbecue, it came with a separate sauce. Di naman masarap. Did you like the barbecue sauce for the barbecue? I didn't even try it. Because the barbecue is already sweet. And uh, I'm guessing the sauce was sweeter. The sauce has a weird taste. Hindi masarap. <laughs> but I like their Toyo Calamansi sauce for the chicken barbecue. Some of you may be curious to know how much are we paying? During rainy season, o yung sunod-sunod na araw, ulan, tapos the next day, araw, ganyan. On the average, we are paying around one half of what we're supposed to pay if we don't have solar panel. Now, during summer season where the sun is always up and shining, we are paying only around, I would say, one third to one fourth of what we're supposed to pay in case we don't have the solar panel. So, malino ba yun? To sum it all up, having this solar panel is a very good decision. The most important thing here is you are saving the environment. In our age, we are in our senior years. Actually, what do we care? In just a few more years, we're gone. We're out of this world. It's for the future generation and the generations to come. We cannot just be so selfish. If you can afford it, go for it. Huwag ka na magkatubili kasi maganda yan. Good for the environment. If you have the spare money to do it, to install, mag-install kayo ng solar panel. So this concludes our video for today. Thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to click like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And get a solar panel so you save some money. Yes. Not only are you saving money, but you are also saving Planet Earth! Yes, according to the Meralco Bill, we are saving 3 to 5 trees every month. Oh, you see? <laughs> Thank you for watching. We'll see you again next time. Bye bye.